With one of the rookies now, Paris Key, I know it's exciting to hear your name uh, called on draft day. And as we sit here, you're one in the books. What's changed the most for you? How's your perspective different now? Um, well, I didn't really know what to expect coming in. Um, my name was called. I was super excited. Pretty sure my family was a little more excited than I was. Uh, and when I got here, I mean, everybody welcomed you with open arms. And it hasn't changed since. So, yeah. I know a first year can be challenging in that you don't always see uh, significant minutes on the floor and it's not always consistent as you kind of mesh your way in with this team. I thought one of the more um, significant moments of the year though, you came in in an early season game and I thought made a real impact early on. Did that help your confidence? Did that kind of set the stage for your season? It definitely did. Um, I just remember one big time block I got <laughs> that I was super excited <laughs> about. Um, and that kind of stuck with me. That gave me my confidence on the defensive end. And, uh, you know, as a rookie, you have a lot to learn on the offensive end, learning players in, in a short amount of time. Um, and that's, that's probably one of, one of the things I'm mostly looking forward to working on. What was your relationship like with the other rookies, uh, Kennedy and, and Tier? It seemed like you guys were a pretty close-knit group. Yeah, I played USA with, uh, we'll call it Big T, well, Tierra. And KB, we played against each other. I forgot what island we were on <laughs> back in college, and we didn't know that we would be, you know, on the same team here, right. which is amazing. So, yeah, we're definitely very tight, very close. It seems like the franchise, even though in year one doesn't always have a massive role for you on the floor, it seems like they really value you and they, they view like that was not only a good selection, but that you're somebody in their plans long term. Do you sense that too? I do sense that. I mean, I have to believe in myself in the end. Um, so I'm putting in all the work, um, putting in the extra hours after practice, before practice, um, whatever I can do just to get better and improve my game. You'll be headed, though, immediately, I think, here to Russia. And you have been outside of the U.S. before, but this is going to be, um, I'm sure, a bit of an eye-opening experience for you. Are you looking forward to it? I am looking forward to it. I'm super excited. I know Candace used to play there and so uh, at Spart Spartak. So I'm excited. She tells me good things about it, and I should be in good hands. So, yeah, nothing to worry about. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty high level of basketball that's played over there, though. You, you feel like it'll be something that can really boost your game as you get ready for uh, you go into year two in the WNBA? For sure, definitely. Um, I'm hoping to, to learn a lot while I'm over there, um, get used to the ball being in my hands. <laughs> um, yeah, just kind of getting the, back in the flow, getting my confidence back up. and. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm excited. That can be a bit of a jolt, though, uh, to go from the U.S. and then living somewhere else. Any thoughts on, on just kind of getting through that personally? I'm just trying to take it all in. Um, no expectations going over there. Um, I know it's going to be different. Everybody says it's going to be different, so don't go over there thinking it's going to be a certain way. Um, and, you know, you set a certain standard and you're let down. But uh, I'm super excited. Uh, I hear great things about Russia and definitely the team that I'm going to. So looking forward to it. Well, congratulations. Year one is in the books. Any final thoughts you'd like to give to Fever Nation who supported you in your first professional career? Uh, I'll just say thank you for supporting us. Um, and thanks to mom and dad <laughs> for coming to the games. So, yeah. Well, congratulations. Year one is officially in the books. And when you come back, you're not a rookie anymore. So that's nice. <laughs> thank you.